So today we are going to fit from Zombie Off Road. We've got caster correction plates. So I don't know if you know what this plate is for, but it's when you raise your vehicle, especially with a solid front axle vehicle, when you lift it up about two, three inches, you're actually throwing the caster out of the front diff. So right now my diff is about three degrees off. So these arms attach like this to the radius arm, thereby dropping the radius arm, which basically essentially rotates the diff to the right degrees. So what happens when it's off, when your cast is out, when you're driving on roads, like on the highway, you don't feel it. But when you're driving on like the older farm roads, the steering wheel is so playful, especially when, you, when you're towing also, you feel how bad the steering wheel just plays around. You literally can't have a conversation and you literally have to keep both hands on the steering wheel and concentrate. So Henry, Mouton from Zombie Off-Road has started manufacturing these things and they're going, they do the, it works for the 79 series, the 80 series, the 100 series. So if you've lifted your vehicle, you need to do this. It's actually a matter of safety. So he supplies it with all the bolts and the nuts and the washers and everything. So we're going to go about fitting it now and uh, check the difference. I've driven the vehicle before. It's difficult to show in a video what the vehicle does, but it's going to show, I'll be able to tell definitely afterwards. So you'll notice that they're all exactly the same, right? except for one and it is this one over there if you notice that straight edge compared to the curved edge that is for on the driver's side as he explained to me so what i'm doing now is i'm just checking that all the bolts are the right length to be able to go through so we're going to grind off this piece here it's easier than drilling because it's not easy to drill it's easy to drill here outward that way but you can't drill this way because of the pumpkin sitting in the way here so you probably have to really struggle to drill and i don't want to struggle so i might drill the passenger side but i'll actually just grind the driver's side because of the way the pumpkin sits here you're not going to get a drill at a straight angle in the first step is to jack the vehicle up to take some weight off of the vehicle but not all the weight you kind of want the wheels still on the ground but that you can use that at your step and kind of rotate the diff into the right angle. And we'll loosely just see what we're doing. This one is a bit too long, like you said to me. Uh, you don't get shorter. So you see this here, this lip is now in the way. We actually have to cut this lip off. We're gonna cut off the body, but we're gonna mark it properly to cut off that we just, just make it through. And this bolt over here is gonna be a bit of a problem. You can see it's too long and we can't get it from the other side, but we're gonna shorten it. Let's just check on this side. What we're dealing with today. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. So there we've got our cast to drop now. Okay. Maybe I can actually see the angle there. Let's go for it. Just get that baby there. Grinder. Let's do a test. Let's see if we are clear. No, we are not clear. Yeah. 
almost clean. You see that kind of Come off here. So in order to get that away, I need to actually cut quite a bit. I cut it that way. Oh yeah. Right, moment of truth. Please be right. Right too. Uh, we are 120% right there. There's like a millimeter to spare. So now we need to mimic that over there. So if we look at that, it's exactly the same. So let's go on, cut that one. And 20 millimeters of torque on both sides. Guys, these do not tighten you the back over there until you've taken the off the jack, we'll take them with stab out so that the wheels rest in their natural position before you tighten up at the back. So I'm gonna drop everything, I'm gonna tighten up, and then we're gonna go for the test time. Okay, so now I'm test diving. Looks a bit like my alignment must maybe be altered a bit somehow, but my steering was like two degrees off, two, three degrees. <laughs> but what I can say is I'm going over bumps in small roads and I'm about to get onto the highway and I can feel a visible, visible difference in the vehicle. Um, vehicle feels extremely smooth compared to how it was. It was very playful in the front. Um, and you had to have your tire pressures equal all around. If one tire was slightly less inflated than the next tire, you wouldn't get that smooth but I'm driving over bumps here and it's a massive massive difference it's a traffic cop here next to me uh, because I was gonna do the whole sway thing play with the steering wheel but uh, let's just wait for him to go past yeah looks like there's a Prado coming next to me yeah no play in the vehicle at all where you going how's it So, I'm going to play with the steering wheel a bit now and see if there's any difference. Oh, she's so much smoother. I'm moving the steering wheel left and right, and the vehicle is almost basically staying in the same lane, not moving at all. So, one of the big things that I had was driving over bumps or little potholes in the road. It would really pull the vehicle to a side. Um, I can now comfortably sit with one hand and not have to always. I always had my left hand ready to grab the steering wheel. And especially, like I said, driving in those old dorpy towns where the tar is not as smooth as city driving and urban driving, you really have to, especially, you know, on, in those roads, you don't have the yellow line with more tar. You basically got tar and then there's just a dip and then it's gravel. So there you really have to keep your hands because you don't want to go in that dip and catch your, your passenger side wheels on the gravel. But I can feel a massive difference. And I can also see that my, my knuckle now from my front diff is now sitting like this as opposed to at an angle. So, yeah, thank you, Andy Mouton. Thank you, Zombie Off Road. This is truly what I needed. I think it was the last thing that was bothering me with the vehicle drivability um, that I couldn't sit comfortably on the long road. I always had this fear if I'm sitting too relaxed and I hit the pothole, the vehicle's going to pull itself to one side. 
So yeah, so it's a major, it's, it's one of the things that people don't understand. If you're lifting the vehicle, you have to do sway bar drop down links. You have to do cost of correction. Um, you can't just lift a vehicle because you're throwing the dynamics out of the diff and you're throwing the dynamics out of the sway bar. I mean, look here, I'm sitting with one end and this is a very bad section of the M5. They're always burning tires here and there. And I can feel that this vehicle is just really smooth. So I'm, I'm super, super impressed. Um, remember, this fits the 105, the 70s, and the 80 series. So if you've lifted your vehicle two inches or anything, you need to get the plates that correspond to that. Very chuffed. I must tell you, there is a massive difference. This road, this M5 that I'm driving on here, Prince George Road, is normally where they buy burnt tires. So the road is very uneven and a lot of potholes, and I always have to drive two hands on the steering wheel. And as you can see here, I'm driving and it's not pulling around wherever there's a bump or a, 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 a pothole or anything in the road. I mean, I'm changing with one hand and it's perfectly fine. And even if I play with the steering wheel, you can see uh, she's not moving left and right and feeling playful. So very, very, very happy. Thank you, Andy.